Good morning, New York. My name is Kelsey Louie, and I'm the proud CEO of Gay Men's Health Crisis. I'm also the proud son of immigrant parents. Thank you all for being here today for AIDS Walk New York. Respond, resist, reach out. Today, I would like to pay tribute to the powerful words of two women who have changed the world. Attorney General Loretta Lynch said to the transgender community, we see you, we stand with you, and we will do everything we can to protect you going forward. GMHC wants to send a similar message. To the HIV positive homeless person, we see you. This past year, for the first time ever, GMHC began offering supportive housing, literally providing a roof over people's heads. <laughs> to the young gay person who's afraid to come out because your parents might reject you, or the suicidal teen who is being bullied at school, or anyone who is struggling with mental health issues, we see you. Earlier this year, GMHC opened our new mental health clinic because we know that untreated mental health issues is a driver of the AIDS epidemic. <laughs> to the long-term survivor who feels forgotten and isolated, we see you. GMHC is creating a centralized hub to ensure that your voices are being heard and that your ongoing needs will be met. To the heroic Craig Miller and the entire AIDS Walk New York team, we see you. We see you in the $150 million raised since this walk started 31 years ago. To the GMHC board of directors chaired by Robbie Kaplan and Michael Harwood, we see you. We see you every time GMHC does something great. To Manny Rivera, the chair of the Consumer Advisory Board, and the rest of the men and women we serve at GMHC. We see you and we hear you. Thank you for letting me know what you need and making sure that we deliver. To the staff of GMHC who stay late every night because you know that your job is important and that people count on you, I see you. You're... <laughs> your dedication and commitment make me so proud to lead this team. To the person who donated $25 last month in honor of your mother who passed away from age-related complications, $25, because that's all you can afford after paying your bills on your minimum wage job. We see you. Please know that we are so grateful because every dollar counts. <laughs> to those of you who walk in memory of a loved one, we see you and we see them. We see them through your commitment to walk each year and your commitment to never give up until there's a cure. And to those of you who are walking for the first time, we see you. The first step is always the hardest. Welcome to our AIDS Walk family. I see you too. <laughs> to the politicians who somehow got elected or appointed, we see you. And everyone walking here today is watching you. We will use our voices until you hear us and until you see us. Until you see immigrants as equal contributing members of society. Woo! 
until you see lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people as deserving equal human rights. Until you see poor people as deserving equal access to health care, whether or not they have a so-called pre-existing condition. And until you see women as having the right to make their own health care choices, and receive equal pay for equal work. Another woman who changed the world gave us a new rallying cry just a few months ago. Never stop believing that fighting for what's right is worth it. It is. It is worth it. Thank you.